Sorry. Hey, everybody. This is Sheets, and I'm going to be going over tonight's hockey slate, um, this being uh, Friday, December 30th. Um, so I'm not going to be around tomorrow for anything. So uh, let's get it done today. First of all, thank you very much for the input within the Discord channel. Um, just the one day yesterday, I didn't do the the uh, the, uh, the slate breakdown people were asking for, it, which obviously makes me feel quite good um, that people are enjoying this. So I'm going to keep doing it as long as I continue to get that type of feedback because there are a lot of different ways to handle hockey. And I think that we're kind of on to something with this process. It kind of combines, you know, Vegas lines sort of with uh, projections with using Saber Sim as a tool to help build lineups. Uh, last night it did really well. We were on uh, the Florida side of that game where Barkov had like a hat trick in the first period and, we uh, did very we doubled our money in the in the big one, and also we're really in contention in the in the MME. So hopefully everybody was on that. Um, so let's take a look at today again. Same uh, same process. First, let's look at the implied totals, um, and we're looking at uh, a couple of different sources here for that. Uh, Daily Faceoff has uh, Carolina at three point six, followed by Nashville at three point three, and then it's kind of. And then also the Penguins at three point three, so it's kind of it's kind of bunched, kind of at the top here. There's no real big standout with respect to uh, with respect to team totals, all the way down to two point seven five for the Panthers. Um, the other thing is that uh, um, no, I guess that was it. So Carolina is, is a little bit ahead at three point six followed by uh, Nashville. and Oh, that's right, because Nashville is not on the slate, right? It has all the games here, but the slate is only a three-game slate. That's something to keep in mind. So Carolina and then kind of a Pittsburgh, Edmonton, and Seattle, and then the Devils. That's according to this site. Um, according to Saberson, they have – and they just have the right slate here – they, they're they kind of on Edmonton a little more. So anyway, they do have Carolina as the top overall team total. But then they have Edmonton and Seattle as overall being kind of a higher scoring game um, than maybe the other sites. So uh, it's something to keep in mind. So I'll help. So on Saberson, we'll have Carolina at the top, then Edmonton, Seattle kind of tied for, for next best. But you'll see that Carolina is still the top rated. We go to Daily Roto, which is also free. Again, I wouldn't show anything that's premium. That's not fair to the providers, but this is free. Um, they have Carolina four, Pittsburgh four, Edmonton four. So, in general, Carolina seems to be the the top team. Now, that doesn't mean that they're the best play, but when it comes to team totals, at least uh, they they rate to have the highest implied team total, which usually correlates to goals, which usually correlates to fantasy points. Anyway, so the next thing that we do is we pull up my sheets, which are available again usually for premium members on TrueDFS.com, um, where I rank pretty much all the players by a lot of metrics, but uh, most important for this visual is Sheets Value Score, which kind of combines both, um, whatchamacallit, upside, uh, actual fantasy points, points per dollar. It just puts it all into one number here, um, which I think is, uh, I, I think it's useful. And that's the way I always look at this stuff. Now, again, you'll see the even straight lines, the power play lines and all that stuff. And the most important thing, and you'll forgive my my voice, I'm not feeling very well today, is again this at this stage of the game, we're just we're just getting a visual. We're just looking and seeing if there's any teams that just kind of bunch on, on along the top of the projection matrix here, you know, um, and and hopefully let them all be on the same team, and hopefully let them all be on the same line, and that's the way you kind of do this. At least you know this is step like I guess one and a half, right? Um, so first thing that kind of stands out, well, Pittsburgh goalie, but, but forget that you see one, two, three, four Carolinas right in a row, which is, which is very rare. Um, but actually, you know, what? on a three game slate, it's going to show up a little more often. So that, that is definitely something to keep in mind. Um, when you have four Carolinas right here like this, this is this is almost definitely going to be the top stack, okay? Without without even running same or same, without running anything. Now again, this is probably going to be high owned as a result, but you know this is where you got to start. 
Um, and then the next thing I'll see is that Dougie Hamilton is is a goalie, uh, excuse me, defenseman, but the next guys from New Jersey all the way are, aren't until all the way down here. But they're okay, but they're not as good as Carolina. And then you have Pittsburgh, who, you know, they have a couple of guys up here as well, uh, Raquel, Latang, and Glensel. What's interesting is that the Edmonton guys are like nowhere, right? And, and again, we usually like playing Edmonton. But one thing that I've noticed, and this is kind of weird, not weird, but Edmonton only does well when they look good. And you're like, you must be like, well, obviously they're not, obviously. Like some teams kind of just play to form and some teams don't. Like Edmonton, when they play a team that they can roll over, they roll over them. And when they play teams that are giving them a hard time, they usually give them a hard time. And this is just based on my experience and my just my, my observing playing Edmonton and not playing Edmonton. I've never seen Edmonton, not never, but it's rare to see Edmonton in a tough spot, you know, break the slate. Okay. They usually just are big front runners. If they have a good spot, they'll take it. But if they don't, they probably won't. So I'll probably be off of Edmonton today. Um, so it looks as though these one, two, three, I guess, four Carolina guys are the ones you have to start with. So let's, uh, well, wait a minute. There's a little, little trick here. First of all, one of them is a goalie, but that's still okay. So Svechnikov, Burns, Neeson, and Aho. Let's see if we can build a lineup with those guys and just see what it looks like. So that's the next thing we do. We take a, uh, we take a, uh, whatchamacallit. We take uh, a DraftKings lineup and let's see if we can just build this. So what did we say? We said, all right, so Carolina, actually, see, I, I know I'm not feeling well. Kind of off my game a little bit. I like to make sure that these guys are on the same line, if possible. So Svechnikov is 1-1, one, one, first even straight line, first power play line. Uh, Burns, 1-1. One, one. Stefan Neeson, fourth EV line, but first power play line, very strong. Then Aho. Second EV line, but first power play line. So what we're going to be doing here is probably doing a full power play. So we'll go down and we'll see who else on this power play line, and that would be Nekis. So that's probably what we're going to do, at least when we're hand building. So let's see what that looks like. So Aho, and then Svechnikov, and then Nekis, and then Neeson. Um, you can play four, or you could can you get up to five. Yeah, you can play Burns as well. Um, so if you want, you can start with a five-man stack from Carolina, and you're well on your way. Um, and the thing is, usually with three-game slates, it's kind of, I don't want to say hard, but you don't get to as many full pure stacks just because they're not that, not that usually not much to choose from. Um, but this is a, this looks pretty easy. Oh, okay, yeah, easy. That probably means everybody's going to do it, but let's start with easy. Um, let's see what goalie we probably want to plug in. I guess Jerry, right? I mean, he's a top rated guy and he's cheap or there's Spencer Knight. Who's cheap is a little cheaper. And the reason why I bring this one up, Oh no, he's against Carolina. We can't play him. So we'll play Jerry as the goalie. The only thing that was weird is that I thought I might want to play Philly, excuse me, New Jersey as my second stack, but. I don't think it's that important. So here, what we can do, if we're playing five Carolinas, we can only play two from another team or a one-off. So what we'll do is we'll look and see if anybody really stands out here. So Dougie Hamilton, again, we're, we're already playing against him with the goalie, so we don't want to mess around with that. So maybe one of these Pittsburgh guys, whether it be Raquel, whether it be Latang, whether it be um, – probably look for something somewhat cheaper, though. Or what we could do is just go for straight one-offs, right? So if you have 4,500 a man, we could just play what 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 rated here. Like once again, this tar Tatar guy, you get too much jersey. I think we got to get rid of our goalie. I think we're gonna need to have jersey guys. But we'll just play some other goalie later. That's the second time I've tried to look at this and have these jersey guys just show up. So Tatar at 4,200 is really cheap. Brat at 5,300 is really cheap. Heshizer at at uh, 6K is cheap enough. So I think that's the way you're going to want to build your the second part of your stack here, your second part of your lineup. Like, let's go back to it. Um, play Brat. 
or you you didn't play Hamilton and get away with that, right? Um, well, you're gonna have to mess around because you 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 you're gonna have to put a goalie in. But I think this is the idea. You know, you play who's the other guy from Jersey that I looked at? Tatar. He's forty two hundred. That's really cheap. And you can play a Hish, uh, Hishizer here. Then you can play a cheap go a goalie for like seven thousand and play some one off. So this is definitely something that we can do. Okay, okay so that's when you look at today's slate from a hand building perspective. Now let's see what Saberson would come up with. So what we did was we put my uh, put my projections in here uh, in advance, and let's just build. I don't know, one hundred fifty. Let's build one hundred fifty lineups. We'll go to the 150 max settings and we'll just see. I mean, three, listen, three game slate, you know, you're going to get a lot of, you know, you get a lot of uh, weirdness in here because there's not a lot to choose from. Let's just see what we come up with. I imagine it'll be a bunch of Carolina. I mean, that would, that was just way too easy. So let's see. Uh, actually, more Devils. Look, look at, look at this New Jersey logo. We. With the Carolina defenseman. Yeah, I guess that uh so this so if you build using Saber Sim, it's actually getting you more of devils, which makes sense, right? Because uh I, every time I was going through these Carolina guys, I kept running across these devils guys. So uh these look to be the two main teams. Uh Edmonton third, but a distant third. Seattle is probably gonna be low owns compared to these others, as people still don't mind playing Pittsburgh and Florida just smashed last night. So I think of all these teams, I think Seattle, they're getting decent representation for what I think is going to be the lowest owned team. Um, so I think that's something that you can do uh, to get a little different. But I guess that's pretty much it. We're going to go live at six o'clock tonight uh, if I'm feeling better. I know Bobby's going to be live. If I'm feeling better, I'll try to answer some questions. But that's the process for uh, for today, December 30th. Hope you guys do well.